For more than a year, ABC 10 has been looking into a local charter school, the Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Our investigation found extensive spending of taxpayer dollars and very little oversight from the Twin Rivers Unified School District. Tonight, that district held their first board meeting since our investigation was released last week. Our Andy Judson was there tonight. A number of people spoke directly to the Twin Rivers Unified School District Board Tuesday night demanding accountability and oversight following our investigation into Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Two teachers even spoke directly to the board telling them that Highlands forced them to inflate attendance numbers. Take a listen. The scandals detailed in the evening news are disconcerting but not surprising. I am close to several employees who were terminated just for speaking out. At Highlands, employees are reminded that we are at will, meaning that we can be terminated at any time without cause or notice. I fear certain retaliation for speaking publicly tonight, but I can no longer remain silent. Finally, Highlands pressures teachers and paraeducators to inflate ADA. Respectfully, you are paid to provide financial oversight at Highlands. Please look into the attendance. The Twin Rivers Teachers Union president even addressed the board expressing concern, but none of the board members said anything in response during their open comment session. So we asked Dr. Martinez, the superintendent of Twin Rivers Unified School District, what his response was after the meeting. Take a listen. Do you mind if we just ask you a couple of questions? Do you want to hear if you have any sort of response to all the teachers that came directly to you and spoke to you on the board today? You don't have anything to say to them? Well, I think we'll always do what we always do when we hear any issues and complaints, we'll follow up. Okay, great. Um, can we get any elaboration on what exactly we expect to happen in a follow-up? For me to anticipate what we to happen would be, uh, I mean, I'd be taking guesses, but we would follow up like we do most, if any, employees within our opportunity. I mean, there, there's only certain things that we can do as the chartering district. You are but, the oversight committee, though. Correct. Yeah. Correct. For, but they, but for they a also, charter school that has hundreds of millions of dollars, do you think they're spending that? But the properly? charter school also has a board, mm -hmm. and so the board also is exclusive to the charter school. Right. So but when we exclusive. went to the California Department of Education, they specifically said you're the entity in charge of yeah, providing we're oversight. We're not going upstairs. I mean, it's it's. We're not going upstairs. It's their offices. You can watch our full four-part investigation, The Wild West of Education, right now on abc10.com slash highlands.